Hello and welcome to the Hands on SharePoint YouTube channel. My name is João Ferreira, I'm a SharePoint enthusiast. I'm the owner of Hands on SharePoint blog and this YouTube channel will be a complement to the main blog where I will explain with videos each post in detail. This video explains a solution to receive common notifications by email from modern SharePoint pages. Comments are enabled by default, allowing the users to share their opinions directly in the modern page. But there are no notification system to alert the page owners that new comments are being posted. If you want to stay updated with everything that is being said on your site, you will have to check your pages manually. To build this solution, I've used a custom SharePoint framework extension that is responsible to update data on SharePoint lists that will then trigger a flow inside of Microsoft Flow that is responsible to send the notifications by email to the page owner. So let's see how everything was made and how you can easily replicate all of this on your own SharePoint environment. If you are not familiar with modern SharePoint yet, comment section is located at the bottom of your page. In this solution, I had to modify the site pages list, that it's the list where by default all pages are stored, and I had to create two extra columns to that list to store the number of comments and to compare what was previously notified to the page owner and what needs to be sent by email to the owner. So the previous comments represent the number of comments that it's updated by the extension directly using the SharePoint API and the actual comments uh, represents the number of comments that were already sent to the user uh, using uh, Microsoft Flow and it's updated by the flow itself. The execution of flow is triggered by the modification of the site pages list and every time something is created or modified on that list, the flow is executed. The first condition is used to initialize the actual comments to zero on pre-existing pages. After it, the flow will compare the number of previous comments with the number of actual comments. If the previous comments is greater than the actual comments, then uh, we enter into the notification part of the system. First, we will have to update the actual comments with the same number of the previous comments. And once that is done, the flow will then trigger the email to the page owner. Detailed instructions on how to set up the flow step-by-step -step are provided in the blog post and you can find the link in the video description. And you will also find the uh, pre-built solution and the link to the solution on GitHub uh, if you want to modify it according to your needs. The solution was built using PNPJS and it's only visible for users with admin rights, which means that for users with read-only permissions, the extension will never be visible in the page. And that's what's highlighted in this part of the code over here. To install the solution, you will need to upload the SPPKG file to your app catalog and you will have to make sure you check the box to make the solution globally available to your uh, tenant. After that, uh, you will have to run the PowerShell script that it's provided with a pre-built solution where you will need to introduce the site collection where you want to have the solution uh, installed and wait a couple seconds for it to deploy. After it, refresh your site and the extension will appear on the lower left corner with a message icon. After click on it, a message will be displayed telling you that the solution was triggered and if you then visit your email, uh, you should see all the notifications uh, of new comments on your pages. As you can see, I just received the email of the comment that I made when I first start recording this video. And from here, I can easily check uh, the comment on the page.
even though the solution works, you need to be aware of some of the limitation it presents. Only page owners will receive comment notifications and you will not know what is the content of the comments. You will only know the number of new comments that was made. And you should define a page created by yourself as your own page. Otherwise, you will not receive any notifications on the home page of your site because it's created by default by the system account. Hope you like this solution and if you want to give me some feedback about it, feel free to use the comment section of the video or the comment section of the post in the blog or reach me directly through Twitter and click the subscribe button to be notified about future updates. Bye!